Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving a network failed through the Google Chrome Web Store error you might be getting when trying to download and install extensions onto your web browser. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go jump right into it. So first things first, you want to close out of any open browsers you may have open and open up the start menu type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer listed right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and now double click on the local disk where Windows is installed on or wherever your programs are. So most people it should be the C drive. It should have a little Windows icon above the hard drive. So go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing for the Windows folder. So go double click on that. And now scroll down to System32. And now do the same thing for the Drivers folder. And now there should be an ETC folder near the top. Go ahead and double click on that. You want to right click on the Host file and then select Copy. And now right click on the Desktop icon over here on the left side. And then select Paste. You could also just paste it onto the Desktop directly, whichever method you prefer. And now that our file is on our desktop, we want to right click on it and select Open With. You want to select Notepad and then select OK. If you see anything listed in here like 27.0.0.1 clients2.google.com, there might be a couple of Google entries in here. You want to just delete them. So just highlight over it and then just backspace to delete. There might be one or two in here. Just keep an eye out for them. And then select File and Save. Close it here. Now you want to take the file that was on our desktop that we just edited and drop it back into the System32 folder. It's going to say the destination already has a file named host. You want to select replace the file in the destination and select continue if you need to provide greater permissions. And there you go. Simple as that. Restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.